Hello everyone, in this video, we'll be continuing our series on the component registry. This is a place where services register themselves to VRA. We'll dive deeper into some of the health checks for both VRA and IaaS. Starting with our VRA appliance first. The first service we wanna check is our shell UI. For this video, we'll be showing what it looks like in a healthy state. In a follow-up video, we'll be talking about what it looks like in a failed state. Our shell UI is the very last service to register. And if we have an enterprise deployment with load balancers, our load balancers check the service to make sure everything is working correctly. We can see in the output, the status is showing registered. The next service is our VMware Identity Manager. This is a service that integrates with Active Directory to provide authentication. And we have a couple different things that we can check. The key piece of information that we want from this check is at the very end, where it says all okay is true. If we see anything else other than that, then we know we have some kind of issue in the environment. If we are using a clustered environment, we have multiple identity managers, we can also check the cluster, find out what other instances we have. If we had a clustered environment, we would see multiple entries for each instance. The last check for our VRA appliance is VRO. This is our vRealize orchestrator. The majority of customers deploy an embedded orchestrator, and that's registered to VRA. When VRO goes down, it takes down that shell UI service, which would cause VRA to also not be available. And we have two different services we can check. The first one is our server daemon, and we can see the status says that it's okay. The second service we can check is our configuration daemon. The configuration daemon deals with plugin installations and certificate management. And while the output might look a little funny, this is actually expected behavior because we're accessing it in a different manner, not the way that VRA would normally access it. Switching gears, let's start focusing on our IaaS web server. In the component registry video, we talked about these three different web pools, repository, VCAC, and WAPI. We have a service check that's a rollup of all three of those, and we can start walking down to figure out where's there an issue in the environment. And for this one, we can see the status is registered, and this tells me that all the pools underneath of it are also working correctly. But if it wasn't, Let's walk through each one of those pools and how to check them. Let's start specifically with WAPI. While the output looks funny, this is expected behavior. This tells us it's actually working correctly. We're just accessing it in an abnormal method. Let's talk about the VCAC next. This is our vCloud Automation Center. When we look at our administration page, and we go to the Infrastructure tab, VCAC is actually an iframe inside of there. While it says you don't have authority to access this page, this tells me that that pool is working. Our last one is our repository. And this has a couple different checks. We'll start with our VM provisioning service first. If we see this XML output, this tells us our provisioning service, our repository is working correctly. Our repository is used to interface with our Microsoft SQL database. This is what all the components use to talk to the database. And then we can go one step further by looking at our guest agent. So when our VM turns on, after you finish deploying it, it reaches out to our guest agent and says, what kind of workflow do you have for me? What do I need to do to configure? And if for some reason it can't get that response, it'll try a few more times until our proxy agent decides that something is going on and we'll start the process to remove that VM. Most likely, if our guest agent is not working, then we probably have an issue with our VM provisioning. To wrap up this video, we took our component registry video and checked a few more services. Starting out with our VRA appliance, we checked the shell UI, we checked our identity manager, and we checked our vRealize orchestrator. We then switched gears and looked at each of the individual pools that make up our IIS server. We looked at WAPI, VCAC, and the repository. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it's been informative.